guys, it's your girl Erica J coming to you with an update video on my Lipo 360 and BBL with Dr. Samson in Miami. So let's get into it. I know this video is definitely um, been anticipated. Everybody's been hitting me up, wanting to know what happened, how was the surgery. Well, let's get into it. So as you know, due to COVID and my husband been off work, he wants to come. So we drove to Miami and we took the kids with us. We got there, we left on Saturday, got there on Sunday. Um, Monday was my pre-op at Seduction. So Monday we took the kids to Walmart, got a whole bunch of groceries, everything that they need to stay in the um, hotel. Back up, the hotel, I stayed at the Staybridge Suites, um, Miami International Airport, amazing hotel, very clean, very nice. Um, the people there were, had great customer service, our whole stay. Um, it has a shuttle that takes you from the airport to the um, hotel if you need that, and it's near the train if you want to like catch the train and go around the city and stuff like that. Um, so, the hotel has a full kitchenette with two burner stove, full refrigerator with ice maker in the freezer, lots of cabinet space and stuff like that. It had it came with like we got a suite, so it had like a master bedroom with the king size bed, full uh, walk in shower, and in the living room we had like a sofa bed and everything like that. So hotel was perfectly nice. If you're going to Miami and you want to stay uh, there, I definitely recommend that hotel moving on so pre-op was monday so initially my pre-op was supposed to be at one o'clock i got a message later that day saying pre-op was at three so after we got groceries we went over to the seduction westchester location to do pre-op well i got there at two i called myself getting there early guys now no shade but i wish somebody would have told me in any video that the seduction cosmetics Westchester Westchester location was in a shopping strip like nobody's mentioned that um so I'm like circling around and I'm like trying to find it I'm like I can't be in the right place so I called one of my surgery sisters she was like yeah it's in the same parking lots with with Ross and five and below what <laughs> Ross and five and below yeah I'm like they do surgery shop okay whatever I already paid we here let's get this let's get this going so go inside a million people in there um COVID-19 I'm like ma'am I'm here for my pre-op um um she was like okay sign in on a computer I was like okay is it possible for me to sit in my car because it's a lot of people in here and it was ladies in there with their luggage it was just packed like it was nowhere to sit so she was like, okay, so it's two o'clock, mind you. So it's like, okay, well, can I get my paperwork to fill out while I wait? And she was like, okay, she gave me two, two or three packets of paperwork to fill out. So I took the paperwork back to my car. I did not stay in the car. We decided to go ahead and go back to the hotel and wait and um, empty out the groceries and try to get things settled. So mind you, that was at two o'clock. They never, I'm waiting on them to call me and let me know it's my turn. Never got a phone call. So it's 4.30, time to step away from me. I'm like, oh my God, I gotta hurry up and get back up here because you know, I gotta get my pre-op and no one's called me. So I get there, she was like, oh, it's still five people ahead of you. Five people ahead of me? She was like, yes, yeah, five people ahead of you. I'm like, well, what's going on? So apparently, the Coral Gables location had five people to call in, so everybody had to go to Westchester location to do their pre-ops. So they had to do uh, pre-ops for both surgery centers. So I'm like, okay, well, fine. I'm here, whatever. So mind you, I got back there at 4.30, and so I had to use the restroom. I wouldn't use the restroom. Nobody said anything. When I was there, one of the girls was like, girl, make sure they have your paperwork because they telling me they can't find my um, surgical clearance. I'm like... I wouldn't even be here if they didn't have my paperwork and I know they have my paperwork, but I'm just going to double check, go up to the front. I actually, and like I said, do you have my paperwork? She said, let me check. She said, Oh, I see your surgery clearance. I see your labs. I see your EKG. I see everything. You're good. So sit down. Bam. I used the restroom. An hour passed by. It's six o'clock. 
six o'clock. So they finally called my name to the back, six o'clock. She took me back there. She took my weight and my height. Um, on the scale, I was 211 pounds. You guys know I was freaking out about that um, with my, been on my cycle and the water weight and all that. 211 pounds. She took my height. I'm five foot, three and a half inches. So my BMI was 37 or whatever, right up in there. So we were good with the BMI. So she was like, I need you to pee in a cup. I'm like, ma'am, I've been here since two. I've already used the restroom. Granted, I did leave and come back, but nobody, maybe... I should have known or maybe I shouldn't use the restroom but hey I had to use the restroom they they should tell you when you check in that you're gonna have to give a urine sample and if you have to use the restroom let me know lo and behold I couldn't pee so while we're waiting on peeing she did my vitals she did all that she's like okay we'll give you some water let's use the restroom so she's looking in the system at my labs I'm like I know I'm good because you know all my stuff is good she's like oh I don't have your I don't have your numbers I'm like what do you mean I checked at the front they said they have it before I even flew to Miami they told to add me back to the schedule since my surgery was canceled um they said that they had it so what do you mean she was like oh well no I need the numbers well good thing I my um my labs is with Kelsey Stebo, and I was able to log into my account, and she was able to print them. So I I know that some of you guys have better coordinators than others. I had a shit poor coordinator. So hey, it is what it is. She didn't tell me none of this stuff, and good things that I had my lab. So bring your lab work with you. Bring a hard copy of your paperwork with you, because seduction is very unorganized. It is what it is. So um gave her that so now she's like okay i need a copy of the card that you paid with when you paid your payment last week i'm like okay well i, I had some fraudulent activity happen to my account i closed that account but their payment had already went through so i'm like we should be good because you guys have already received the payment and i closed that account i don't have that card and she's like no well you can't have surgery tomorrow if you don't have that card i'm like who fault is that? Like, the the coordinators are the ones that take the payment. They're supposed to get a, a picture of the card. Well, I only made three payments. My deposit, my half of, half of the amount, and then the, the rest of it. So, every time I... Those three payments were all taken by three different people. Only, only time I gave a picture of my card is back in December when I paid my deposit. Luckily, uh, one of my cards I had with me, I was able to give her that card, but the other one I didn't. So she was like, well, you're not going to be able to have surgery. I have to call the owner of Jordan and see, and da, 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 da. I'm like, look, <laughs> what? Okay, so whatever. She called a lady. She was like, okay, well, everything's fine. You'll go ahead and be able to have surgery. Don't worry about it. Mind you, uh, it's like almost 8 o'clock p.m. Pre-out was scheduled at 3. I got there at 2, and it's 8 o'clock p.m. So, um, she was like, I said, well, I haven't got my, I did use the restroom. I did do my drug screen. Everything was good. She took pre-op pictures of me before pictures. I asked to talk to Dr. Sampson, um, at six o'clock, right? Not at eight. Sorry about the camera. I'm in a bit. I asked Dr. Dr. Sampson when I first got back there and she was like, oh, well, um, you can't talk to Dr. Sampson. He doesn't work on Mondays. Um, he's off and, um, we can't FaceTime him. Well, that was really you know, disheartening because I wanted to talk to him about my recommendations for my hematologist. I wanted to talk to him about um, my arms because I wanted to get arm lipo and I'm having surgery tomorrow and I can't see the doctor. So I was like, they said that we would be able to FaceTime him. And she said, yeah, but he doesn't work on Monday. So I'm like, okay, well, she's like, well, if you want to add arm lipo, you can talk to him tomorrow at this before surgery. I'm like, okay, fine. I'll talk to him tomorrow. I'm here. I'm in Miami, you know, let's get this done. So um, I'm like, I haven't taken my COVID test. She was like, oh, we ran out of COVID test. You'll have to take it tomorrow. Now, mind you, I just gave her $400, $100 for the COVID test and $300 for the um, post-op care supplies, which they don't give you any post-op care supplies at pre-op. They do not give you any prescriptions at pre-op. So you get your prescriptions for any medications you need the day of surgery. So I hope your husband, significant other, recovery house, or whoever it is, has a good look or have transfer transportation to go on the hunt and make sure that they have your medications that you need but I wasn't even tripping because I've had surgery before so I came prepared I had all my medications 
everything that I needed to be successful. So I'm like, you know what? I'm not tripping that they're not going to give me no medications. I'm just, you know, Dr. Gray, he mailed me my prescription ahead of time to Houston. And the narcotics I got the day before. Me and my husband went and got them. We picked them up. So surgery day, all we had to do is go to surgery, show up, and have surgery. So that experience was totally not in day. Dr. Gray's office is very professional, very, very upscale, very nice. Everything seduction, you sit in plastic chairs and you're on top of each other and it's very tight in there. But you know, Dr. Sampson does great work, so I'm trying to get this body right. I'm trying to get this BBL and this waist snatch. So, you know, when your mindset is on that, you put everything else to the side. And so that's what I was doing. I know I wanted to see Dr. Sampson. I wanted his work. I never met the man, right? But just by the photos, I just felt like he was going to do a good job. And so I overlooked all the bad reviews I heard about seduction. I overlooked the fact that their surgery center was in a shopping strip. I overlooked the fact that they didn't have any of my paperwork like I said they would. I overlooked the fact that my pre-op was at 3. I got there at 2 and didn't finish until 8, 8.30 p.m. I overlooked the fact that I paid them for a COVID test. And guess what? They didn't give me a COVID test. And the room was packed. So it was what it was. But I overlooked all that because I wanted to have surgery. Right? Next day. So later that night, me and Chris, we went to eat at a nice little restaurant. Hey, what's happening? It's your boy Chris. I'm live with Miss E Lady. Turn around, get it, get it. You need a picture of me? Yeah. We are here in Miami. We living our best life. <laughs> um, I put pictures up in here. It was really nice by the water, all that good stuff. That'll be a different video. Um, but anyway, back to what we're talking about. Um, I got a text message at like nine. 30 p.m. saying that I was on call for surgery and they would let me know when to come in an hour before my surgery. So I'm like, okay, cool. So I went to the hotel and I prepared. Hey guys, this is your girl Erica J. I am pre-op getting ready for surgery. So it's the night before my surgery. So I am going to try this clear fast. Um, this is a drink. It's supposed to be a clear uh, pre-op drink. It's called clear fast pre-op drink and I got the flavor in um, watermelon it says it's a pre-surgery drink with complex carbs for long-lasting energy okay and you're supposed to take it the night before you have surgery uh, for adults the night before your procedure and um, that's pretty much it so I got two of these drink this one now and then as soon as my husband picks me up for post-op, I'm going to take the second one then just so I can get some electrolytes and things in my body um, because unfortunately, I don't know what time my surgery is tomorrow and I have to fast starting um, at 1 a.m. So I could have surgery tomorrow at 3, 4, 5, 6. So um, I'll have one of these drinks. So when I come out of surgery, it'll be something lightweight and I can pretty much maintain. So let's see what the taste is about let's see it don't taste like nothing it tastes like flavored water so that's good because i'm always worried about how something tastes so i'll let you guys know how it is and i'm gonna finish drinking up my clear fast see you later so basically I got my pill box ready. I took my pre-op drink. I got everything ready for surgery. So then it, when I was there at the pre-op, she told me that I couldn't have um, finger, she, I had to have my real nail showing and everything like that. I couldn't have acrylic on my nails. So that morning of surgery, I had to get up. Well, of course I took a bath in my pre-op, pre cleaning supplies and all that stuff. I scrubbed my body. I covered myself from neck down in a um, jogging suit because I didn't want to be exposed to the elements and I went and found a nail shop at nine o'clock in the morning let me tell you nail shops in Miami a lot of them are Spanish-speaking it's not like the nail shops here in Texas like they're all 
Asian um, speaking, so it was totally different, but I couldn't find anybody who really spoke English. I went to three nail shops before I found one, and finally was able to get my nails took off, and I got a clear overlay on my nails with no polish, no, no clear coat or nothing. So I got my nails done, and I'm like, dang, I still haven't heard from Seduction. Went back to the hotel. We got the back of the, the truck ready. We had an SUV. So as you can see in the pictures, we uh, took pillows from the hotel. We took all of the the chuck pads or the um, some people use puppy pads and covered them all up. I had my steps too. We had everything ready so that, you know, once Chris picked me up from the surgery center, I could get back in the, in the van and boom, come back to the hotel. So still hadn't heard from Seduction. So like 1.30. Um, the coordinator that I had met the day before to do my pre-op, she calls me and now she's on, oh, well, uh, you're not going to have surgery again because, um, we don't have a picture of the card. I talked to the owners and they're saying that we need proof that this, that, and the third. So she was like, can you call your bank and make sure that the payment cleared? I'm like, okay, well, do you want to call on three-way? We can call on three-way. She was like, no, um, I'm not allowed to be on three-way call with you. I'm like, well, what's the point of me calling the bank? I could tell you anything. Like, what's the point? Let's just go ahead and call three-way. Oh, I have another client that, you know, I have to get ready. So just just send me a message and let me know. I'm like, okay. Now, this is like the second time they tell, well, in Houston, my surgery was canceled, right? Then she told me at pre-op I wasn't going to have surgery. Then the day of surgery, when I've got everything done, she's telling me I'm not going to have surgery. I'm like, whatever. So I call the bank. They're like, the payment cleared. The payment went through to Wood Forest Bank, to Seduction. They have the money. It's in their account. They gave me the transaction number and the time the money hit their bank account. So I'm like, why are they giving me a hard time about money that they already have just because I don't have a copy of the card? And she, so I'm calling the girl back. I'm calling her back. She's not answering. I'm doing what she told me to do, which was call the bank, right? And so I'm trying to give her the information that the bank provided me, right? But she's not answering. So I text the little text number nobody's responding so I'm just getting so frustrated because it's like at this point it's like 1 32 o'clock I'm supposed to be having surgery today I don't know what's going on and nobody's responding to me so my husband's like well let's just go up there so I'm like okay let's go up there so I'm like let's see if I can speak to somebody face to face so we go to the Coral Gables location so the Coral, Coral Gables location is about this much this this much better than the Westchester location. The aesthetics on the outside is better because it actually says seduction on the outside. So you knew you were in the right place. But I walk in, it's nobody down, it's nobody in there. It's like you walk in, it's an elevator to your right hand side. And if you go straight ahead, it's like a desk right there. But it's like nobody here or whatever. So I just pushed the, it's, I think it was a note on the door telling you to go upstairs to the lobby or something. So I pushed the elevator, I went upstairs, and when I'm telling you, the lobby is like this big. It probably had... Like the parking spots. Oh, park it's no parking spots at, at Coral Gables. They tell you to park across the street at KFC and get towed at your own risk. But anyway... Um, and it's so true. <laughs> the the it, social distancing, honey, it was like one, two three, four, four other people in there, plus me and my husband. And it was like so small and the reception is there. So I was like, I just went straight there. I said, may I speak to a supervisor? She was like, well, how, we, how can I help you? I'm like, well, I need to speak to a supervisor. Granted, I don't know if anybody knows what HIPAA is, but I don't want to discuss my personal business in the lobby with the rest of the world but it is what it is and that's how they do things so we had a discussion i let them know what was happening they didn't have a copy of the card but the bank said the money cleared it is what it is y'all had the money y'all money in the bank i'm like can't you call the owner can she ch look and see that they have the money in the bank yada 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 they finally got me a manager she brought me to the back she was like it's not the problem of the money they have the money okay i'm like well y'all got the money then what's the problem like you got the money i don't have the money let's get this done she was like well so many people like have surgery and then cancel the surgery and then dispute it with their bank and i'm like look 
I ain't come all the way out here to Miami to play games. Like, you know, what can we do to resolve it? The manager was very nice. Basically, I had to write a letter saying I wouldn't dispute the transaction, give him a copy of my ID, hold it, like my ID and the letter. I, Erica, will not be disputing these transactions at all. So they took copies of that. They was like, okay, well, you can have surgery. Now it's like 3.30, okay? I'm telling you this really fast, but, to, but from that 1.30 to that 3.30, it was up and down, up and down, arguing, back and forth. Don't want to go off because I haven't even eaten since the night before, just stressed out to the max, but just push through all of that. She said, you're going to have surgery. I said, well, I need to go back to the hotel. Um, she was like, no, stay here. You're going to have surgery now. Well, I don't know if you guys watched the previous video. I had those wipes that I, that I, they're, um, pre-operative wipes that I got from the hospital when I was in a the hospital. They used them to clean my whole body every day when I was in a hospital. So I had those in my surgery go bag. So literally I went downstairs. They told me I was going to have surgery. I went into the restroom and I like clean my face, my whole body with these, these surgical wipes and, um, got myself cleaned and sterile because again, I don't want infection and I'd have been to the nail shop. I've been arguing with people by having surgery and, you know, I just wanted to be clean and not just walk into there, you know, so I, I clean myself off good. I put a dress on and was sitting out in the waiting area so we saw dr samson so chris and i was like hey dr samson can we get a picture so he took a picture with us um you know he was very cordial he was very nice and we took a picture and everything like that and so the lady's like okay it's one girl ahead of you and then once she goes back then you're gonna go back to the the room dr samson is gonna come out get you marked up bam so uh she went ahead of me she went to the back to go have her she was getting a tummy tuck and um lipo so she went to the back so probably like 45 minutes after she was back there or so dr samson can't comes out to get me marked up i'm like that was kind of fast but whatever i know they have assistance and stuff like that that help with the surgery so dr samson comes out um we chatting and he was like, okay, so he has this little folder and he's going through my med my medical records and he was like, um, do you have any health history? I'm like, no, I'm per perfectly healthy. And he was like, have you had any, I don't know how we got on the topic, but he said, have you ever had any history of blood clots or something like that? And I'm saying, yeah, I have a history of blood clots. I said last year I had a tummy tuck and, um, flew home six days post-op and I got a small pulmonary embolism in my lungs and, um, they did testing and they checked my legs for DVTs and I didn't have any. And he was like, that's not in your chart. I'm like, well, I, d I put it on the pre-op paperwork yesterday because in that pre-op paperwork, it's going to ask you, do you have a history of pulmonary embolism? Have you ever had a blood clot? I put it there. I told seduction. I have the receipts, honey. I have the receipts, all the text messages. And I said, my doctor has been calling here at seduction trying to coordinate my care with you, my hematologist. And he was like, well, nobody told me. I'm like, well, his nurse practitioner has attempted to contact you multiple times with no um, results. So he just ordered me Eloquist 2.5 milligrams two weeks post-op. He went off. I don't think he was necessarily pissed off at me. He was just pissed off. He's like, no, I can't do your surgery. Nobody told me. It's not in your records. I'm a black man, and it's a white man's game. They will lynch me. They'll have, if anything happens to you, it'll be all over the news. He was like, um, um, it's just not worth it for me to do your surgery. I'm like, well, that's fine, Dr. Samson. I respect, I respect that. I understand that you didn't know. I, you know, I feel, I see. He felt like he was like blindsided, but I'm the one that was truly blindsided because here I am. I came all the way from Texas with three of my four kids. My daughter's gonna be flying out the next day. Like my whole family's here, and you're telling me you're not gonna have my surgery. I, I don't, you know, guys. I think his team let him down. You know, it's just, Dr. Sampson is a doctor. I think he does really good work, but I, I feel like I need to hold him a little bit more accountable at the fact that he works for seduction, and that's fine. He works for seduction. He He's a good doctor. He does good jobs, and he is, a, he is a strict doctor, and I knew this coming in, right? But is it my fault that none of this was coordinated with him no 
Is it my fault that my doctor tried to do a peer-to-peer -peer and contact him and they didn't return any calls? None of that's my fault. If they would have just said no, it would have been fine. Dr. Gray wanted to do my lipo 360, which I would let Dr. Gray do my lipo. He does excellent lipo. He does excellent boobs. Whenever I get ready to get a boob lift, I'm probably going to go back to Dr. Gray. I, I love Dr. Gray, but I wanted a BBL, and Dr. Gray does do BBLs, but I wanted that Dr. Samson BBLs. Y'all know about them Dr. Samson BBLs. So that's what I wanted, and if he would have just told me no, I would have stayed in Houston. I would have went to Dr. Gray. I would have went to Dr. Peterson who wants to do my lipo. Like these are professional doctors that were willing to do my lipo 360, three months post-op when he's telling me that he couldn't do it. And I respect Dr. Peterson. He's the doctor that saw me in a hospital, saw me at my worst point, and he wasn't concerned about the pulmonary embolism. But I understand, you know, hindsight is 2020. you know, Everybody's situation is a situation. If you want a Dr. Samson, kudos to you. I think he does good work. Uh, do I recommend seduction? No, I don't. They're very unprofessional. I don't even feel clean or sanitized being there. It's just like the whole thing was just not a good place for me. It wasn't a good fit for me. God kept trying to save me from myself, and I just kept trying to do what I wanted to do, right? Um, it wasn't. It just wasn't for me. It wasn't a good fit for me. It may be a good fit for you. Um, again... It is what it is. Like I told Dr. Sampson, I respect your decision. I, he said, well, do you want another surgeon to do your surgery? I'm like, no. Because at the end of the day, I only wanted his work. Everybody's good. You know, everybody's there. Everybody has their things. But I'm like, dude, if that was the case, I could have got anybody to do this. I chose you. But I respect that, you know. And he was like, look, I don't have any devs. I ain't, you know. And I'm, I don't, I just don't want to risk it. And at the end of the day, when another doll brought it to my attention, she was like, Erica, you know, they're in a shopping strip. She was like, it's no hospital close by. If anything were to happen to you, then, you know, it's just a risk. They don't have what they need to handle like an emergency situation. So I had to look at that. So I was upset. I was upset. I'm not going to lie to you. I was so upset and just disappointed and just, just like i don't know so anyway dr sampson told told me and my husband we wouldn't have a surgery we was like okay so they had me sitting out in the area i'm like okay um the lady was like at the desk she finally is at the desk now she was like okay um i said dr sampson said i'm not having surgery today i said i need to speak to somebody about a refund she said what what happened so i had to tell her what happened she went upstairs and um she came back down with a sticky note telling me to email somebody about my money Oh, I forgot a piece. When I was upstairs, when we was going back and forth between, I guess, like that 1.30 to like 3.34 o'clock, um, that young lady that I gave, took the picture with and did all of that, I gave her $900 in cash for my arm lipo. Again, not talking to Dr. Sampson about it. She was like, well, I recommend you get it because you don't want to have your waist snatched and your arms are little. So, I mean, waist snatched and your arms are large. So, I gave her $900 in cash. So... I forgot to add that. So, mind you, seduction had $900 for my arm lipo, $10, $11, $12, $13, 1300 cash that I gave them, not to mention the $5,200 that I gave them for the surgery, okay? So, she told me about an email. Exactly. That wasn't going to work. So, I went upstairs, and the manager, the same manager that helped me out earlier, and we went through all of that Girl, she came out with money in her hand. She had my $1,300. I was like, okay, cool. I don't have to act a fool. I don't have to go to Dade County Prison. Everything's going to work out. You know, we're good. So she gave my $1,300. She said, but I do need to send an email to request my $5,200. She said it wasn't my fault. Dr. Sampson didn't want to do the surgery. And so I should get a full refund. She had me send that email. And I said, like, look, just be honest with me. What's the process? How long is it going to take? The little receptionist like, girl... I'm going to be honest with you. It takes about 30 days for them to even reply to your email. I say, you know what? God is good. I got my 1300 cash back. I'm going to go to the hotel. 
Now, look, I wouldn't chip her, okay? I was hurt. I was crying. My feelings was hurt and everything like that. But everything happens for a reason, and God is good, you know? So we have to trust God, you know? And I value my life. I value my husband, my kids, everything that we work hard to build. And I want to be here, you know? I, I'm not trying to do anything to jeopardize me. And if God is telling me no, then I have to respect that, you know? But at the same time, sometimes you can't help how you feel. At the end of the day, like... I know God was protecting me from something in that instance, but you know, I was still kind of hurt about it. So, um, that was Tuesday. I sulked all Tuesday night, Wednesday. I had to put on my big girl panties and guess what? We enjoyed Miami. Let me tell you about Miami. Yes. yes. So, you know, I'm still a big girl. I didn't get my lipo 360, but hey, I've come a long way from where I started. You guys that have followed my journey from the beginning to the end. Um, you know, I've come a long way. So I'm very, very proud of where I've come. And I do love my body. I do appreciate it. But, you know, I do have these love handles that I just want to be snatched. You know, you know, you know, you know. I mean, it's, it's me. You know, we all have insecurities and things about ourselves that we don't like. But at the end of the day, we have to, you know, be thankful for what, what we do have because it could always be worse. So, with that being said, we enjoyed our time in Miami. We went, took the kids to do segways. Uh, we signed up for jet skiing, but it rained on us, so we didn't get to do that. We went out to eat. We went to the strip, the um, outlet mall. We took some tours. We took some tours. You know, we really did have a good time with the kids in Miami. So, we ended up having a good family vacation, good family trip, and just spent time with each other. So, now, I know all of y'all want to know. What are we going to do next? Well, the reason it took so long for this video, because anybody know me personally, which most of you don't, you know that when I want something, I put my mind to it. Erica J. Erica J. I put my mind to it. So I I decided that I did not want a BBL because I only want to, Dr. Sampson to do a BBL. I didn't want a BBL no more. I really didn't even want to be able to not sit down for six weeks. Now, I have a little spot in my butt that I feel like it could be a little plumper. We can have more projection. But at the end of the day, BBLs are increased risk. And I, you know, I want it. I love the bodies. I love looking at you ladies. I love, love, love it. But at the end of the day, I made a decision to say, you know what? No BBL for me. I do want lipo 360. I want this waist to be snatched. I need this back fat gone because Dr. Gray took my stomach off in the front and it's like I got a whole baby back there. And I'm getting this baby off my back. Okay. Because you got ass. You, you, yeah. You and I got, a little, I got a little something back there. I got a little, like I'm working oh, with yeah, a little you, something. You do. I'm, work, I'm yeah. working with a little something it's, back there. So, a little something. With I a mean, lot. Right, that's what Mr. Jordan Thunder. said. Thunder from down under. No, I'm just playing. <laughs> so, um, I got a doctor. Came back home to Houston. Um, I was looking, I was still, you know, looking for a doctor that could get me in now because with my work, things are going to pick up the pace here soon. And we were kind of chilling due to COVID-19. So, I wanted to have my surgery before life gets back up and running. So, I was on the facebook and i came across a liposuction group and oh my god they're absolutely amazing i asked have anybody got lipo in houston texas because mind you after my experience going to seduction in florida i really didn't want to fly for surgery anymore my experience with dr gray's office was totally amazing um and i guess i thought i was going to have the same experience going to miami and the quality of the surgery center the staff the customer service is not even remotely close or comparable um at all so no just no i was kind of really disappointed and i'm making this video because a lot of people don't know that seductions in the surgery in a strip mall but they are getting a new building and so hopefully they get a new building you probably get some more coordinators and good luck to you it's just you know it is what it is. You kind of pay for what you get. It is what it is. But I can't say that because Dr. Gray was so reasonable in price. Yeah. And I got excellent customer service. I, I don't know. I just I just don't know. How would you say the work is not conducive to maybe the property or the place? Where I, I just, it, I just. It don't add up. 
I just I couldn't even believe it. It's just not for me. And, 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 and I see lots of lots of great, great, great work come out of there. So something got to be right, right? It, it's not all bad. No, Dr. Sampson is a good doctor. Yeah, it's not all bad. You see it, but Back the strip to the mall. Strip mall. But they're getting a new building. So yeah, girl, y'all look be on the lookout for their new building and and hopefully you get better customer service and everything's top shelf. So back to me. We have decided to go with the doctor here in Houston to get Lipo 360 and um my own lipo. You guys have to stay tuned. I'm just going to let you know, I will be getting surgery this week. I will be getting surgery in two days. And so that's why this video is so late because I wanted to make sure I had everything done. This doctor is so hands-on. He's so involved. I have his personal cell phone number. He calls, he texts, he coordinated my care with my hematologist here in Houston. Everything's done. I've already had my COVID-19 test taken. Granted, I paid for that COVID test. In Miami, never took it. Never took it. Then I heard a lot of girls were saying they paid for it and they never took it either. But nobody said nothing because they got their money and they like, let's get this surgery done. Right? Just FYI. Mm. But back to me. So, um, took the COVID test. Everything's done. All the paperwork's done. We just got to go in. So, I just want you guys, I'm so excited. That's why this video, I'm so excited because in like, today is Tuesday. So on Thursday morning at 7 a.m., I am going in for surgery to get my Lipo 360 in arm Lipo. I am so excited. I'm so stoked. I want you guys to follow me on this journey. I am going to post everything, the good, the bad, the ugly. Um, actually, I already uh, started posting my pre-op. Um, I'm sorry, I already started recording my pre-op consultation. Actually got a face-to-face pre-op with the doctor. How about that? You actually get to see the doctor in pre-op. Meet him, discuss your body. He gets to pull a tug, look at your body, and he tells you everything. I don't want to spoil it. You guys, I'm telling you, I, I, he reminds me of a baby Dr. Gray. Anybody who's met Dr. Gray or talked to him, met him, he reminds me of a baby Dr. Gray. He has that confidence and it's just, he's, he, he loves what he do. He loves what he do. He saw, he saw my pictures. He replied back to me and he's excited to get this way snatched. So the fact that he's excited got me excited. So I'm excited. So you guys just make sure you tune in for my next video um let me know please comment let me know if y'all want me to drop like small videos like every day you know what what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna do one big video for youtube to document my journey but if you guys follow me on instagram i'll be posting pictures and doing a few lives and possibly even posting stuff on my story i really don't know how to do that that well but i'll try to start learning how to post stuff on my story so that you guys don't have to wait for the full video Video. but um, it won't be real detailed but then you get to just to follow me on my journey but you know me my videos will be graphic it's gonna be the good the bad and the ugly so you guys stay tuned and look for our next video hey go 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 go, go, ahead, go.